Hi, Jagger. Um, first of all, thank you so much for telling me how you feel. I appreciate so much how open you were about the situation and how trustworthy you are of me. So just wanted to say thank you for initiating that. Oh gosh, it's a really sticky situation. Um, I've kind of seen it from both of your perspectives, but I totally understand how you must be feeling. I can't even imagine how stressed you must be trying to articulate your emotions and not really understanding how. Also feeling like you're not really listening to Raven would also be very difficult. Um, I did hear a little bit of Raven's side and how she's been feeling and I can say without speaking for her that uh, she shared that she feels very shoved to the side and because of the way that you're handling the situation and the way that you understand how to handle conflict whether that's learned from your family your friends your parents whatever it is making her feel very unimportant so i just wanted to bring that up first um and kind of introduce the possibility for better communication between the two of you i mean i love that you're both super comfortable with me but i definitely think the conversation should be had between the two of you initially um if it were me I will give you a little bit of advice on how I feel that the situation should go. Um, the first thing, I'm in a relational communication class right now and it's teaching me so much about just the dynamics of different relationships and how you're actually able to handle these situations very effectively, specifically with conflict. That's very similar to this. So we talked a lot about listening and about being able to articulate your emotions and how to best do so. Uh, and in that we read um, a blueprint of conflict by this man named Gottman and the first step of the conflict blueprint and how he understands to effectively communicate is listening and validation. Um, I wrote down notes, let me go ahead and see. It's supposed to be rigorous and intentional. Um, a quote from that says that you should postpone your own agenda to understand and validate the other person um, by asking questions and just showing interest in their perspective. So an example of that could be, if that's how you're feeling in this situation, then and then you go into your um, perspective of it or whatever comment you were gonna make, just introducing that and validating the thoughts first. But I definitely understand where you're coming from. Uh, and I think that there's a lot of value in also understanding where she's coming from and letting her know that. Uh, I think one of the things that's making her feel the most shoved aside is this so just understanding where she's coming from before becoming defensive of your own point um just because i'm reading a textbook and my textbook actually says that putting a guard up immediately um sometimes signifies that you feel threatened or that you're trying to hide something that may have a deeper meaning um or kind of an ulterior motive and that's of course not what you're trying to portray so if it were me i would definitely stay away from that we also learned this really cool thing called communistars, which I found so interesting and I've actually applied them in my own life, which has been so fun. And I really think that you should too. Um, basically a communistar is these different points of communication um, that are necessary to be able to articulate your point correctly and really get to all the different um, angles of a conflict. So it goes through the different points and things like that. And we also got advice on the different ways that that should be communicated in which order. So I can definitely relay that information to you. Um, but it really just makes sense of your perspective and helps you voice your emotions. And I know you're really struggling with that, being able to articulate your emotions and feel them, understand them uh, in a way that is effective for all of you. So I can definitely send you information on that. Um, but I really think it would help you be able to articulate your emotions. It goes through the senses that you're feeling. It goes through the I feel statements and the I think statements and separating those out and how to affect those or communicate those effectively and things like that. Also, it adds a call to action at the end. So you're actually doing something about the conflict, which seems to be kind of the issue between the two of you from my perspective as an outsider, just trying to give you advice on the situation. Um, the last thing I think would be really helpful for you guys is just compromise. Uh, maybe have one day a week that you can just dedicate time to Raven every single week um, instead of kind of fitting her in in the cracks because I know that your schedule is so busy and so is hers. And I just think in the advice that I could give you is just separate that time out. I know you use that a lot of the times to focus on your hobbies, whether that's going to the gym or working on your cars. I just think that that's things that 
may be able to be fit in on other days of the week and kind of thrown into those cracks of time, whereas time with Raven can't really be spread out like that if you want the time to actually be intentional and constructive. So I think just having one day where you dedicate it would satisfy her needs of feeling wanted and seen and valued and your needs of having time for every single thing within your week. Might help you block out your schedule just a bit more and make her feel just a little bit more valued. Even though the time spent in total would probably be similar to what you're already doing, just having it in that one chunk um, I think would make her feel significantly more valued than what's happening now. I know that was a lot, so if you need me to explain anything more, please let me know, but I'm here for you, and I know that this really, really sucks, and I really want it to work out um, between you guys and between all of our friends, so just to recap everything, I really think it'd be super important for you just to work on a compromise, whether it's what I suggested or something else, just whatever will work for you and your schedule, but also satisfy her needs um, and understanding her frustrations. Uh, using a communistar would be a really good way to kind of approach the situations from now on since she's done a lot of the initiating of these conversations. I think you coming to the table with some of your own emotions would be very helpful as well as just listening to her viewpoint and being able to kind of reciprocate what she's feeling because the other side of the communistar is that you're able to kind of work through her position and see it uh, until that you fully understand how she's feeling before giving in your own opinions. And that kind of segues into what we talked about with maybe not being as defensive up front and, and what the textbook said about that, as well as um, what Gottman said about the conflict blueprint and just being able to listen and um, kind of put your own agendas aside in order to make it better for her. But I love you both and I really hope this all works out.